morning, everybody. It is Blackberry Winter. It is. It is Blackberry Winter. And in a minute, you're going to meet my guest. But right now, we've got some birthday specials that I want to tell y'all about birthday specials, birthday announcements. And they are very, very special. And one of them is to a lady that you know, Miss Debbie Baker Foster is. Yes. Older and dirt today? Is that what happened today? <laughs> I'm not no, gonna, Bob's not going to say gonna, that. Uh -uh. But I will tell you, um, if we're not planted down there, well, if we're planted down there, we're in heaven. I don't know. Right. You know, happy birthday, Debbie. Happy birthday to you. And happy birthday to Cindy Stanley Mulkey, who happens to also have a son, Brandon Mulkey, and they are both celebrating birthdays today. Now, how cool is that? to give birth on your birthday. I don't know if that would be a birthday present I would <laughs> want. Depends on your labor pains. But, and to Tim and Bree, who did give birth to a baby girl about 10 days ago, they are doing well at home and getting used to this baby and how the baby's gonna run the show because I can assure you the baby will run the show. And of course she would, because she's their yeah. little princess. So congratulations to them. And the baby is back up to birth weight and doing good. You know, they come here and they weigh a certain amount and then they lose a little bit and the moms panic. But uh, no need to panic because then they get right back to eating and they're right back up there. So congratulations to all of you. And today, in honor of all mamas, we're going to do a song in just a little bit that Dwight Sanford did and it's called Mother's Prayer. And there's something about, I have a sign in my bathroom that says, my mother's prayers got me through each and everything I ever faced. And uh, my grandmother, who was my truest best friend all of my life, prayed for me and uh, spanked me and made me mind and was my, had that finger she'd point at me and you knew you were in trouble and Granny's finger came out. So. But there are so many women that watch our show every day. Many of you live alone. Many of you have lost your mates. Um, there are a lot of guys who watch us who's, who've lost their, lost their mates. I think of one that I adore. He's a Vietnam vet, and he lost his mate about a year ago. We have something we're going to talk about today that is very special, very close to my heart, and it's because one of my best friends lost her husband very, very young. I became a widow at 50. And when you're a widow at 50, you're like not many widows are young. And you're mm -hmm. like, how do I deal with this and what do I do? And at the same time, I was raising a kid and you're like, oh my gosh, because uh, my husband and Nick were just like bonded so tight and so close. And I blew it because um, I didn't know how to step in and take his place. And they did all these things together <coughs> and I kind of let him do his own thing, which is not the way it should have been. I should have stepped in and started doing woodwork and doing all the things that JS did with him, but I didn't. So um, we look at loss and we have to accept it. It's, it's not fun. But I told somebody the other day, I said, I know you think this is crazy, but death is easier than seeing somebody walk away. Right. Death is easier because God chose our time and our hour. And right. we're going to talk about that because right. a lot of the widows and widowers who show up at the meal we're going to mm -hmm. share didn't have any choice. Their husband or wife was diagnosed with cancer. Their husband or wife was in a horrific automobile accident. The husband or wife, I, I, I think about my dear, dear friend David White. He was, he was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease and he made it a very, very short time. He would not have chosen to go that way, but his precious wife had already gone on and he was ready. And I said, I think that's what last night at church in Nelson, the message was, we got to get ready. And we got to get ready because a young widow at 23 doesn't know that she's going to bury her firefighter husband this afternoon. You know, we don't know, but we better get ready and we better get ready where they're going and where we hope to go. Right. So, so that's part of life. Right. And today we are going to share some good music. We're going to share some glory bound music. We're going to share some music by Dwight Sanford. And Mr. Bob Reese doesn't know this, but we planned to share a little bit of Shady Grove that was done at your church okay. before the church flooded. And we'll yeah. talk about that too when we come back. But we're going to take a commercial break and then we're going to go to Dwight's song, Mother's Prayers. Every single mother out there has prayed for their children. Every single mother out there has cried and grieved over a child. Something they did wrong, something that was hurtful or harmful to them. Every single mother. And so listen to this song closely 
and understand that a mother's prayers can make a difference. Yeah. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? The mountains are calling and they're closer than you think. Farmers Crossing in Ball Ground offers creekside lots with homes beginning in the 400s. Walking distance to downtown shopping, dining, tennis courts, Calvin Farmer Park, and local events. It also includes a beautiful hike to Long Swamp Creek. Leave the car and the worries behind. Move in by fall 2023. Call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Hi, I'm Ryan Blaney, a third-generation race car driver, and we dedicate a lot of our time to going as fast as possible. But when my grandpa was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was a very unexpected bump in the road for us. It's important to notice if older family members are acting differently, experiencing problems with their memory, or having trouble with routine tasks. Early detection of Alzheimer's can give your family time to explore support services, make a plan for the future, and access available treatments. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Okay, guess who my guest is today? Guess who my guest is today? It's Bob Reese. Did y'all see the glory bound thing? And that was kind of a hint, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's because you're glory bound. Yeah. Well, you're glory bound for sure, but you're glory bound. Right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you're glory bound, but you're glory bound. Right. Well, you're here today because you are involved in something I love. And I love it because you started it in honor of somebody that I love. Right. And we all have talked in the past about becoming a widow or a widower. If you live long enough, you become a widow or a widower. Widower. <laughs> widower. It blah, 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 is hard yeah. to say. It is. And so <coughs> you and Linda are lucky enough to have been married how many years? Be uh, 55 in August. 55 years Linda has put up with Bob Reese traveling the roads a singing and a singing and a singing. And this weekend he was a singing. And before that, Boy Scouts. That's right. So I'll tell you, Miss Linda, we're going to get her a crown before she leaves here today. We'll give her this cap and she can call it her crown. Yeah. Um, Bob, doing for others is a big part of your life, you, you mm -hmm. and Linda. Right. It's a big part of your life. Right. But this thing kind of hit home, and, and you've been doing it. Is this the fifth year? No, it's uh, probably about the sixth or seventh. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. And I remember we were sitting right over there, and I told you right. a story about something that happened to one of my young friends who became a widow and um, was kind of neglected, rejected, and treated badly up in Blairsville, Georgia at a church, and right. it broke my heart. Right. So you did something to change that. Well, uh, after you told the story on set, mm -hmm. uh, on the way home within just a few minutes after we left, 
uh, Gary Carrington, our baritone, was with me that day. And both of us just almost started talking and squalling at the mm -hmm. same time mm -hmm. going down yeah. the road. Yeah. And, and, and by the time we got home, we already had it planned out that we wanted to do something for, uh, you know, the widows and widowers. And uh, uh, this is the plan that we would bring them in, uh, feed them a full course dinner with dessert and coffee, mm -hmm. uh, and do a concert, and then give them a goodie bag on the way out. Mm -hmm. and just to love on them and, and let them know that... Uh, even though their spouse is gone, that God still loves them, mm -hmm. first of all. Mm -hmm. And that <clears throat> Glory Bound Ministries and, and the community still loves them. Right. Well. You know, um, I have two male friends. <coughs> One just went to be with Jesus, and Lord have mercy, I miss him. I adored this man. He took care of his precious wife for 13 years mm -hmm. as she battled Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. He took care of her day in, day out, her every single need. And then he put her in a nursing facility for a very short few days. And he went to the nursing facility and he didn't like the care they were giving his wife. He loaded her up and took her back home. Them wow. squawking in the screaming, you can't do this, you can't just take her. He said, watch me. <laughs> and he did. And he took care of her the last days of her life. Okay. And then the other one, his wife was bedridden for almost four years. He took care of her day in and day out. That's the kind of people we want to honor because there are so many, my grandmother was that one and I was telling at my Uncle Fred's funeral this weekend, I was telling his kids about how our grandmother took care of our grandfather. He became stricken with multiple sclerosis at 36 years old. He was a deputy sheriff and he had MS. It took him down to bedridden for many, many years of his life. My grandmother took care of him. She didn't have hospice. She didn't have home health. She didn't have nobody showing up to help bathe him or clean him or anything else. She got on a bus in Atlanta, Georgia and rode to Grady Hospital to get their little prescriptions for him because they were 50 cents a piece when she, it was Medicaid, it was called SSI, Social right. Supplemental Income. Right and she would get their prescriptions for 50 cents. That meant granddaddy had to lay in the hospital bed alone. We lived in Florida during this time. And, and she would have to get on the bus, 5 a.m., go to Grady Hospital, stand in line, sometimes up to eight hours, to wait to get their prescriptions for 50 cents. Wow. She never once complained, not one time, not one time. So there are people in my life that I look at and I just want to cry because mm. I'm like, who, who loves somebody that much? Right. You would do that for Linda. I Linda would. would do that for you. Yeah, and we, yeah. in our illnesses over the years, have done, we've that. done that. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what giving is about. That's what love is about. That's right. what being a good person is about. And then we've got those who I told you, my friend, who her husband decided he wanted to be single after many years and after she had been everything to him. And I took her to the widow and widowers meeting and she said, I don't feel like I should be here. I'm not a widow. I said, oh, yeah, you are. I said, what, what <laughs> happened to you is worse than being a widow right. because he chose to be an idiot. <laughs> and so she enjoyed it so much and she told everybody about it. And she said, I felt out of place because I'm not a widow. But, yeah, she didn't choose for him to walk out the door with right. the woman that was doing his hair. I'll just be <laughs> honest about it. So, you know, it just, there are people who are alone, right. not by choice. Right. But they've done the right thing, and they've lived a good life, and they don't deserve sitting at home being depressed and right. eating alone. Well, and that's, that's the whole purpose of it is just to get them out of the house. Mm -hmm. uh, let them, uh, and I know most of them, probably go to church on Sunday or whatever, but this gives them a, a, a different... Kind of a date night without a date. Right. Does that little, make sense? Yeah. A little different atmosphere than yeah. church, although, you know, we, we do a... Glory Bound does a concert, which is a, a Southern Gospel concert. It's not and, rock and roll, y'all. You can come. It's uh, not rock and roll. You know, so <laughs> yeah. we've had some... We've had some... some uh, Holy Spirit show up, you yeah. know, and yeah. some shouting and different things over the years, but... Uh, it's just a just a way to get them out of the house and love on them and and our grandkids uh, get involved and 
and especially the folks my age, <laughs> the more mature, uh, they really love those grandbabies, you know, <laughs> and they hug on them and love on them. Yep. And, Yep. And it's just a great time, and, and seeding starts at 4.30 on that day. And, and it's April 29th, my grandmother's birthday. Right. And they, so in honor of Granny, y'all come. Yeah, come in at 4.30 and, and find you a seat, a table. Uh, and you, unless you have to go to the potty, you don't have to get up again uh, because we serve you and we bring everything to you. And... Uh, the dinner, we start serving the dinner around five o'clock. And then we we'll, we start the concert a little bit before six. Mm -hmm. And then we, we end it and you can go out the door usually a little bit before seven, but by no later than seven mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and take you a little goodie bag with you. And, and also last year we started, we partner with a, a ministry called uh, Serve International. Right. And they provide food boxes uh, for us uh, to be able to distribute to the community. So if, if any of them need need a little extra hand or, or whatever. Or even have a neighbor. Or even have it. a neighbor that, that needs extra hand. These food boxes contain uh, 100 meals. Uh, it's 25 meals for a family of four, so that's 100 meals. And uh, everything that, that we are going to talk about this is free of charge. God's already handled the, mm -hmm. the cost of it. Uh, which is just beyond me. But and I love the building that where they do it because it's perfect for the food, perfect for the music, everything right. is convenient. It's got right. flat parking for all us old grannies who don't like to have to walk up and down steps. And the brand new paved parking. Yay, that is awesome. Yeah. And it's at Hickory Flat Hick Fellowship Church of God. Yes, yeah, so, uh, 5301. Highway 140, which is Hickory Flat Highway. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd love to have you come out and uh, be with us. And, and let me say this to uh, those that are watching. Uh, if you know someone that is a widow or a widower and, they, and you know they can't get there, or if you're the widow and widower and you have no way of getting there, call somebody and ask them to bring you. Uh, and whoever brings you, we will feed them as well. Uh, we're not asking them to come and, and not be able to eat with you. So you bring them, and it's, again, it's no cost. We don't charge for any of this. There's no love offering taken. Uh, we just want you to leave with a smile on your face and a joy in your heart. Yep. I, one year I took one, my bestie, and she's a young widow. And she said, I can't go back. She said, I was the youngest person there and it was just, it reminded me that I lost my husband too soon. Yeah. And sometimes that's hard, you know, because their life was so <coughs> together and so loving and so good. They did everything together. Right. And then he suddenly died. And she said, I'm still accepting it, you know, and it's it's hard, it's hard. Well, we've, we've had some 20 and 30 and 40 and 50, mm -hmm. you know, almost every age. Uh, and we usually have more women than we do men, but it's right. it's open to the men too. And and we have a assisted living facility that uh, last year they brought two bus loads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, so we would we would love for it's however many they are to come. I believe God will provide no matter how many they are. Right. And uh, so we're just looking forward to to visiting and fellowshipping with each of you and sharing Jesus in song. And uh, I believe we'll just have a good old time. It, it will be. I guarantee yeah. you the food will be fantastic. Uh, the atmosphere, the fellowship, just sitting around talking to other people. Uh, you know, of, of all the events that we're involved with, including the churches, and I, I'm not saying any of them are bad or anything like that, but, I mean, we, we do the White Christmas for mm -hmm. kids and, and, and do... We go to assisted living places but and churches almost every weekend. And this has become my most favorite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. You're making a difference, young man. Young yeah. man. Did y'all hear what I called him? Young Say man. that again. <laughs> <laughs> young man, young man. Well, we want to share some music. Speaking of the uh, Christmas special, when the Isaacs come to town. Yes. And we raise money and yes. a lot of money, a lot of awareness for children in foster yeah. care. 
-hmm. or in situations that have nothing to do with anything the child did right. and the child needs some Christmas. Mm -hmm. Now you and Miss Linda have been doing this how many years? Uh, this will be our 37th year I think and this past year 37 years. Yeah, this past year we helped uh, over 770 children wow. uh, and um, uh, 300 or so families uh, got food boxes mm -hmm. and uh, and that's uh, that's not a brag on Glory Mount or, or Bob and Linda that's to brag on God mm -hmm. uh, that we were able to do it and over that many years you right know. right and be healthy enough to do it yeah. so yeah. Well, we're going to share a little bit of music. You haven't seen this. I did this on my iPad. It's not professional, but I like I like John R. Bowen. Yes. And I like Tim Moxley. And so yeah. we're going to share a little bit of their music because I think y'all deserve it. If you didn't get to be there, I'm taking you to Canton First Baptist Church now. Well, Christmas. And what happened to your church long, not long after this? Uh, on Christmas Eve, uh, we had the concert in uh November, mm -hmm. Christmas Eve, uh, the uh, sprinkler suppression apparatus, and I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, that's where the water comes into a large building, and then that suppression apparatus divides the water into the different rooms, different mm -hmm. sections, different floors, so that if a fire happens in, on the basement, the whole building sprinklers don't mm -hmm. come off, just mm -hmm. that one section. Well, all this water was coming in to this suppression, and a pipe didn't freeze, burst. It just came loose after 20-something years. Wow. And the uh, water department said there was over 500,000 gallons of water went through the main floor, which is the second floor. And, of course, it seeped down to the bottom floor and destroyed the entire bottom floor and a lot of the upper floor. Between 60 and 70,000 square feet. All of the sound equipment, the oh my gosh. brand new grand piano that we've only oh, had about three no. or four years, seventy thousand dollar, I think, is what oh we paid gosh. for it. So all of that's destroyed. But you know, God, God wasn't surprised by none of that. Uh, and all that means is when we get, and right now we're meeting in Teasley Middle School, mm -hmm. and our attendance has has actually gone up a little bit. Mm -hmm. The offerings coming in like it always has. And when we get back in that building, it's going to be the it's going to be better mm -hmm. than it was before mm -hmm. the water. And What's the time frame they think it'll be finished? I've heard different, uh, and and they're really afraid to give out anything because there's a lot of negotiations not only with the contractors but with the insurance department, oh, yeah. insurance people. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, but God is in control of all of that too, so probably. Uh, I don't know, September, October maybe is what I'm guessing. So I'm, I'm thinking by the time for White Christmas next year, we hope. I hope this year. Yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah, hope, yeah. hopefully. Uh, but I've already, got, I've already got some fillers out and, and kind of know where we'll go if it's not ready. Mm -hmm. So Surely the White be. Christmas will happen somewhere. Hopefully it will be at, at Canton, but if it ain't, it ain't. Yeah. That is a beautiful was a beautiful sanctuary. It yeah. will be more beautiful. Yes. 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 I, yes. I believe that. Yeah. Well, right now, we're going to take you to some music. And this is, um, if you don't know who John R. Bowman is, he is married to Miss Becky Isaacs of the wonderful, famous, amazing Grand Isaacs. Grand Ole Opry. Grand Ole Opry and more, because these people yes. don't just share music. They share the word. Traveling with Reba McIntyre. And McIntyre. they are amazing, 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 amazing. Mm -hmm. And if you know their story, I hope that you will pick up a copy of Miss Lily's book and read about how she became um, a Christian. She was raised a Jewish girl, and, and I know there was family feuding and all kinds of problems right. happened, right. but she chose to follow Jesus. Her, her Seems parents, to have worked, didn't it? Yes, it, it did. Her, <laughs> I believe Jesus her parents, likes her. <laughs> her parents were actually Holocaust uh, mm -hmm, survivors. Absolutely. In the book, she talks about that and shows yeah. the, um, I started to say the tattoo. Yeah, it is a tattoo. Right. Yeah. Right. And um, it, it is so amazing how God does work. And, and through the Isaacs music, I've got my Isaacs t-shirt that I sport all the time. I'd have worn it today, except it's too cold. So we're going to take you now to John R. Bowman and, and Tim Moxley. Tell me a little bit about Tim's history. Well, uh, Tim's been involved with Southern local 
on the local level, Southern Gospel, for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. Shady Grove now. Shady Grove now. And uh, he's a big, one of Glory Bound's biggest fans and supporters. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's, one of Glory, he's one of White Christmas uh, biggest fans and supporter. He helps a lot with the advertising mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's the one that brought the Isaacs in. And mm -hmm. Well, he had John R. Bowman coming in, I guess, from now for about eight or ten years. Right. Because he and John sing together. Right. And then uh, John, uh, John being married to Becky, uh, she came with him one year. And I remember. Kind of. Moved, her heart was moved. She you know. felt us out to see if we were real is what it was. And she said, this is the real deal. Yes, she did. And so yeah. the next two years, she's been bringing her family in, and we got them scheduled to come back this year. And it is, whew, <clears throat> man, it is awesome. Yeah. And if you think you've heard Christmas and Dixie, you've never heard it till you hear the Isaacs do it. Right. <laughs> and, and this past year, <clears throat> Mark Wills, Mm -hmm. Which is also Came a from grand Blue Ridge, Opry. Georgia. Yeah. Well, he's from Woodstock. Yeah. And well, he lives he in Woodstock originally now. Originally from yeah. up there, yeah. But uh, he's a member of the Grand Ole Opry as well, and uh, so he showed up unannounced. Right. Just walked in I the have building. I video and, of it. <laughs> and uh, Sonia seen him come in, so she told Ben, and Ben urged him to come up on stage, and he did, yeah. and they sang. Yeah. Uh, it was just a great night. You know, I don't know if you realized it, but that night, you know, Fat Man Fields used to drive the bus for the Isaacs, and yeah. he was there with Selena, and all of us were sitting there together, and that was Selena's last time to get to go to her concert. Yes. So for all of you who know and yeah. love Selena Hales, she um, wanted to go to that singing that night. It was very, very important to her to be there, and up until the day of her death, she was trying to live her life, Yes, which is a lesson for all of us. When, when she walked in, I was just floorboard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she wanted to be there. She And uh, I met her at the door. I seen her coming in. And uh, I just couldn't couldn't believe it. But she had a smile on her face. Oh, always. Yeah. And, and it yeah. was like, I mean, if you didn't yeah. know she no. had cancer, you no. would you'd have never That she known. was weeks from going to meet Jesus. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah. she came to our white Christmas, which she did. I'll always remember. Oh, that. absolutely. If you're a <laughs> single mom or a single dad and you've got kids, I used to put my kids Christmas on layaway in June yeah. at Super D in Jasper to make sure I could get it out by December. Uh -huh. So we do what we have to do. Right. Uh, Bob, you've also got some more things coming up, and I'm looking at this one. This is at Excel Christian Academy. Right. And this is going to be on the 22nd, April the 22nd at 6 p.m. Right. That's this coming Saturday. That's in Emerson, Georgia. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, I believe it's a uh, pre-K all the way to 12th grade, and it is a Christian school, and uh, they're doing a benefit for uh, some e new equipment. I'm not exactly sure what it is, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, our piano player, Rick Sullivan's wife, Donna, works there as one of mm -hmm. the teachers. Mm -hmm. and Where is this school located? Because I have a it, friend who, go, who works at a Christian school, and I just wonder if that's the one. 54 7th Street, Emerson. Emerson, Georgia. Yeah, it's pretty close to the uh, Is it close ball. to Ackworth? It, yeah, Kinda, because she yeah, yeah cause she you know lives in Ackworth and drives there. I wonder if she's You know where, where the works. big uh, baseball complex is that the Braves built? I know where it is, and I know I'm smart enough to stay the heck away. <laughs> well, that's, that's kind of <laughs> close to that. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. I've never yeah. been to this, but I know it's in that area. And again, 54 7th Street, Emerson, Georgia, yeah. 30137. Hamburgers, hot dogs, meals available, and a cake auction. Yeah. A cake auction would interest anybody who loves coconut <laughs> cake as much as I do. Right. So and the meal starts at 5, and mm -hmm. the concert starts at 6. There you go. Uh, Mazelle uh, Farley will also be there. He's from Canton, Georgia. Tremendous vocal. If wow. You, have you ever heard him? I have not. Ooh -wee, he's good. We need to call him, too. <laughs> yeah. We need to call him, too. Now yeah. you got something else going on. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, next weekend on the 23rd, we'll be at Cleveland Heights Baptist Church up in Dalton, Georgia. And then the weekend that we do in our Widow Widower, do the Widow Widower on the 29th. That Sunday uh, on the 30th, we'll be at uh, Bethel Baptist Church in Dawsonville. 
And I believe that's a revival service. Mm, that's a good one. There'll be dinner yeah. on the ground, I bet you. Is there going to be dinner on no, the ground? No, it's at 7.30 Oh, at darn it. <laughs> that <laughs> that's dinner the on evening. the ground in Dawson County is always good. <laughs> yeah. That, that'll be at 7.30. <laughs> okay. Now, that Cleveland Heights is a morning service. Okay. That's at oh. 10.30. Yep, so. yep. Well, check out Glory Bound's Facebook page and keep up with them. Right now, we're going to keep up with their music, and we're going to play a couple of songs by Glory Bound. Now, Glory Bound started as part of the White Christmas Ministry. That's correct. And you kind of said, instead of trying to get other groups, I'll just form a group. Right. Duh. And it worked. <laughs> yeah, we we had all, we started the White Christmas in 87, I think, and uh, 86. And uh, I didn't start Glory Band until 2000. Mm -hmm. So we'd already done 13 years of White Christmas. So you were like, we need some help. <laughs> yeah. It was getting harder and harder. Our daughter... Uh, sang all through high school, went to college, University of Georgia, singing, and sang all over the United States and the world, really. She went to Korea. and uh, But she would bring in some of her friends from the uh, course groups mm -hmm. and different things, mm -hmm. you know, and and uh, <coughs> then it just got, you know, as all, all young ladies. And I said, we need to get some variety in there. <laughs> So uh, uh, God placed some men in our lives that could sing, and, and I asked them, and uh, they agreed to do it. One of them's from Blue Ridge, mm -hmm. uh, Brian Huffman. Brian was. Huffman. And, uh, I remember the night I walked in, Canton First Baptist, and he was singing Rain. Didn't it rain? Oh, didn't it rain? <laughs> Boy, I, I will never. That building was shaking. Yeah. That was an awesome song. Yes, on our uh, anniversary sing this year. Mm-hmm. I've got the original group coming back. Wow. We're going to do uh, six, six to eight songs. Good. Uh, if I can remember them. But uh, super guys, uh, I love them and always will. And, you know, it is a ministry. Yeah. It's not about the glory and the glitz and the glamour and all that junk. It is truly a ministry. Yeah. yeah. If, it ever, if it ever becomes a show, I'll shut it down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So. Absolutely. So we're going to take you now to a couple of songs. I hope I chose good ones, and I hope y'all will enjoy this. So sit back and listen to a little bit of Glory Band. Sing 
Hi, Reese. We're yes. back. We're back. Okay, we want to remind y'all, get out and support Southern Gospel Music. Yes. And I got to say, last night I was in Nelson at the Baptist Church in Nelson, and Matt and Melton and um, Mark Clark and John David Resurrection came and did a concert. And this is a that's, very small that's Nelson church. Nelson Baptist Church. Yes, yeah, and it was so interior. sweet. That is such a beautiful, yeah. beautiful church. Yeah. And um, the, the message was great. The music was great. But the best part was when Brittany Thames, who is of the Scott family, that's her maiden name, of the, as in my dear, dear, dear family friends, um, Barry Scott is the first person I ever saw sing at Nelson at the Baptist Church. And then that brought me to his family, Floyd, who then had Floyd and Cassie and Barry were on my show's Heart of the Home many, many times. And I love them. Last night I got to see Floyd. And so, Floyd, I know that your birthday is not till May the 6th, but I'm telling you happy birthday today and tomorrow and the next day. And I'll try to remember to tell you happy birthday every day because when you're getting to be 91, you need to hear happy birthday every <laughs> yeah, day. <you> so, <laughs> so to my dear friend Floyd Scott, he was so excited to be there. And to our other viewers who came up to me, y'all are the reason I'm sitting here today. Mm -hmm. Because to be quite honest with you, I was ready to just say, maybe I need to retire. And I said, no, because these people keep telling me that I've made a difference in their life. So I get out all these cards and letters that I get from y'all, and I think, well, y'all are giving me a reason to keep doing what I do. So I want you to message me on my phone. I want you to call me. I want you to tell me how many years you've been watching the show. My number is 404-375-0590. Because I may need your support to keep me doing what I do. Because this morning I thought I could sleep late. But nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> at least two or three times a year. You know, I mean, I guess it's everybody that's in the ministry. You know, why am I doing that? Yeah. You yeah, know, but then yeah. something happened. Like yeah. something happened this Last morning. night, honestly, I had, I had told several people, I said, you know, we're doing a lot of building. We got a lot of stuff going on. I got stuff going on in different counties. And yeah. I haven't talked to you, but I had an accident six weeks ago. And I've been to the doctor three times, and we have some issues going on, and I'm going to have to have an MRI, and some stuff is happening. And I thought, I have to take off to go to the doctor. I have to take off to go to the hospital. I have to take off. But we can do a rerun. That's the great thing about TV. <laughs> when I'm not here and I have a doctor's appointment, we can do a rerun. So. Mm -hmm. Y'all, y'all, not me, not him, not this, y'all are the reason that I get up every morning and I say, I can't wait to see these folks. I don't get to see you till I go out to events. And I want to remind you about an event that's going to be in Turtle Town this weekend. And it is going to be raising money to raise awareness. And you need to come up there and do a concert one day. This is an old school that's being remodeled. And it is a beautiful brick facility. It is a beautiful, beautiful building out in the middle of nowhere, just outside Ducktown, Tennessee. Mm. And it is just a wonderful, wonderful thing. And it is about teaching and about giving and about loving Jesus. And that's what it's about. And there's going to be a benefit this weekend. And I hope that you will come and be a part of that and help them raise money. And, and the young man who's doing it said, I don't know why I'm doing this, but the Lord told me to. And that's when you know we, you're supposed love, to be doing what you're doing. Yeah, we'd love to be part of it. Yeah, and, and when last night when people were coming up to me, oh my gosh, it's so good to see you and we, we watch you and da 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 That's why I do what I do, because of y'all. Because of y'all, not because of me, because of y'all. And I, I love that. I right. love that. Thank you, you very much. You, you've been a big part of Southern Gospel. I try to be. And, and, I love and, it. And, I love and it. And the giving part of it. I mean, I love it. You I know, love it. You've, you've had me up here for many, many years uh, to talk about. We're getting the white old Christmas. together, is what he wanted to say. <laughs> We're getting old together. <laughs> you know, talking about the White Christmas and and. Uh, the bike ride and, and, you know, and other stuff. That we, and the bike ride. Now, when is that? Because that's when I was talking about when you do the car show. Because uh, you do the car show and the bike ride at the same time. Right. And that's usually when I show up with my cobblers. Yes. Yes. And Bob uh, Reese we. does love my <laughs> sweet potato cobbler. Yes. And everybody else loves my peach cobbler. So that's... 
that is but that is a really really cool time that's when you get to ooh and ah over cool cars and that's when yeah. i'll show up with my shirt that has a 66 chevelle on the back yeah. we are doing it i just got to find it. <laughs> Oh, it, it's uh, October twenty first. October twenty first, so yeah. it's in the fall. Yeah, okay. so if you're a okay. if you're a bike rider, belong to a club, bring the whole gang, you know, and uh, uh, also classic car. If you've got mm -hmm. a classic car, uh, they they go on the ride with the bikes and yeah, uh, really uh, cool. Yeah, and uh, and the big and it thing usually is, knock on wood. The weather has been good, and last right. year I have to say I saw my friend Ray DeLuca who's battling cancer. And um, he has had cancer come back several times, and and he's always smiling, always happy, and still, you know, he's he's healthy. He's going to fight it. That's what it's about. It's about yeah. continuing to live your life no matter what you're facing. Right. And these these bikers, you know, when you think of <coughs> bikers, you think of the you know gruffy. Most of these are doctors and lawyers, y'all. <laughs> Most of these are educated. They got Georgia Tech degrees. Then they went to somewhere else and got a bigger degree. Yeah. I mean, these are guys. These these are but not burly burly bikers. We, we do <laughs> we do have some burly bikers though, but they, they their heart is as big as them. Yes, yes, and they, and yeah. And there, uh, there are several Christian bike uh, clubs that mm -hmm. uh, help us out. I got behind one last time, and I'm trying to remember what was on the back of his shirt. Christian Crusaders, maybe. Right, there is. A, yeah, 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 so, yeah. Really uh, cool. That's that's always a fun. We do an outdoor concert uh, and feed the guys when mm -hmm. and, you know mm -hmm. when they come back in from the ride. And if they're yeah. lucky, they get some sweet potato cobbler. Sometimes he takes it home with him and hides it. <laughs> I hide most of it. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard tell he does. <laughs> And if you knew it how much delicious. I love you, because I <laughs> hate to peel sweet potatoes, y'all. I hate it. There's only one way to make a sweet potato cobbler, and that's peel them stinking potatoes. <laughs> I refuse to use a canned sweet potato. To me, a canned sweet potato ought to be against the law in 10 <laughs> states. If you live in a southern state and you use a canned sweet potato, shame on you. Don't do it. Don't well, do I'll it. tell you what, y'all. Uh, if you have to pay her... <laughs> You need, to get, you need to get some of her sweet potato cobbler. Sweet potato cobbler, yeah, I do love it. And it's good I do love stuff. It. Yeah, yeah. You know, it is so funny when we look at the things that we do together. It, it celebrates food, fellowship, and just giving. And that's right. what it's about. It's, right. it's about right. celebrating, celebrating life and living. Right. Yeah. Uh, you can't, I know this is, everybody's heard this a billion times. You, you can't outgive Jesus, mm -mm, mm -mm, uh, mm -mm. and that's not what we're trying to do. Mm -mm. Uh, we're just trying to obey what He's called us to do, yep. Yep. and uh, just pray that uh, we live up to the calling. Right. And uh, we don't always. No, you know, we don't. We fall. And but and I need to I need to say this. We got a lot of viewers who moved to LJ. If you're ready to move back to the city. Come to Ball Ground City and let me sell you a lot to build yourself a house on because we've got a whole bunch of lots ready and we got a whole bunch of houses going in and they're starting in the 400s and we would love to have you as a neighbor. You know, it's time that we... Uh, there's something about that little city of Ball Ground. Um, we have great fellowship. We have a variety of people. We are definitely diverse. And, and it is just the coolest little town. And if you haven't been to Ball Ground, I'm going to challenge you. Come down to my little city that I love. And, and one of the cool things today, they are honoring Spec 4 Glenn Haynes, Vietnam Vet. Monthly, they honor a veteran on the big sign at City Hall. And mm -hmm. I love that they do that. Uh, yeah. And our city councilman, Dennis Nelson, I think that was his idea to do that. But we need, we need to give back. Yeah. We need to give back. And yeah. that's part of giving back is to honor somebody yeah. who did give. And many of them gave it all. Yeah. Were you military? Yes, I was in Vietnam. And probably the same time my, Glenn was, yeah. The, my heart issues are from the Agent Orange. Yes, but, yeah. There you go. But it's, there you go. You know, I, I'm 70, almost 75, so, but I would do it again. Oh, yeah. If, sure. I mean, I'd go sure. today if called. Yeah. Yep. That's right. Uh, but, uh, That's right. But to everybody today, if you see a veteran, salute him. If you see him eating lunch somewhere and he's got on his Vietnam hat, pick up the tab and pay for his lunch. We can't pay him back enough. 
we mm -hmm. can't pay them back enough. So just, just tell them welcome home. Welcome home. We Something we didn't hear. That's we right. Didn't get that That's right. We That's right. And to the memory of John Delbert Swan, who lasted <coughs> six weeks in Vietnam, I will never forget that man. What a kind, wonderful. His parents were Christian missionaries in Africa at the time their only son was killed in Vietnam. Right. And we ne we can never, never, never forget. Mm -hmm. So it's time for us to get out of here. Oh. Well, I love you. I love you, Miss Linda. Thank you for bringing Bob. <laughs> She brought Bob so they can go eat fish. So. Yeah, well, she wants, She loves Biggins barbecue. Oh, me too. We, we, uh, we both too. do. We, we already had our ration this week, uh -oh. so we're going somewhere there you else. Go. So, uh, we'll see you again, y'all, only on ETC, coming to you live from LJ. Awesome. There you go.